weapons are the tools of fear. A decent man will avoid them, except in the direst necessity. And, if compelled, will use them only with the utmost restraint. Peace is his highest value. If peace has been shattered, how can he be content? His enemies are not demons, but human beings like himself. He doesn't wish them personal harm, nor does he rejoice in victory. How could he rejoice in victory and delight in the slaughter of men? He enters a battle better. He enters a battle gravely, with sorrow and with great compassion, as if he was attending a funeral. That was chapter passage thirty-one. Uh, I will be reading passage thirty-two now. The Tao can't be perceived smaller than an electron. It contains uncountable galaxies. If powerful men and women could remain centered in the Tao, all things would be in harmony. The world would be paradise. All people would be at peace. And the law, well, the law would be written in their hearts. When you have names and forms, know that they are provisional. When you have institutions, know where their functions should end. Knowing when to stop, you can avoid any danger. All things end in the Tao as the rivers flow into the sea. Uh, that was passage number 32. There you guys go. Um, that was 31 and 32. Um, uh, I can either read... Okay, these are some short ones. This is 33 and 34. Um, okay, let's get right into this. Aren't they going? No. Aren't they going? No. I don't get that right. What are you wearing? Knowing <laughs> others is intelligence. Mastering others. Well, knowing others is intelligence. Knowing yourself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength. And mastering yourself is true power. If you realize that you have enough, you are truly rich. If you stay in the center and embrace death with your whole heart, you will endure forever. Alright, so that was number 33. There you guys go if you want to see that. Um, the great Tao flows everywhere. All things are born from it, yet it doesn't create them. It pours itself into its work, yet it makes no claim. It nourishes infinite worlds, yet it doesn't hold on to them. Since it is merged with all things and hidden in their hearts, it can be called humble. Since all things vanish, since all things vanish into it, and it alone endures, it can be called great. It isn't aware of its greatness. Thus, it's truly great. Um, yeah, that was number 33 and number 34. Um, if you guys want to see it, here it is. Uh, what did Jeremy say? I'm confused beyond reality. Yeah, okay. Andy said Jen is the prophet. Yeah, she really did, didn't she? <laughs> Um, let me go on to chapter 35 and 36. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Um, I didn't think a meal said. Remember from season Okay, let me, let me get this. We were on 35 and 36. Yeah. <clears throat> she who is centered in the Tao can go where she wishes without danger. She perceives the universal harmony even amid the great pain. Because she has found peace in her heart. Music or the smell of good cooking may make people stop and enjoy. But words that point to the Tao well, seem monotonous. Monotonous? Monotonous. <laughs> But words that point to the Tao seem monotonous and without flavor. 
Sophia, go to bed. When you look for it, there is nothing to see. And when you listen for it, there's nothing to hear. When you use it, it's inexhaustible. All right, that was 35. Um, Jeremy, can somebody please explain? Never mind. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's 35. Uh, I can read 36 as well. Oh, Thomas is on. Hi, Thomas. Do you like my Tao Te Ching? I got it from sixth grade for free. Oh, we should play some music. If you want to shrink something, <laughs> you must first allow it to expand. If you want to get rid of something, you must first allow it to flourish. And if you want to take something, you must first allow it to be given. This is called subtle perception of the way things are. The soft overcomes the hard. The slow overcomes the fast. Let your workings remain a mystery. And just show people the results. All right, so that was number 36. Um, Justin wants to come drive over here and take the book away. Peace. Peace. Okay. Um, Okay, 38 looks kind of long. Oh, it is long. Okay. Do a long one. Do a short one. Uh, I'll do a long one. No, don't do a long one. Monothon... Monoth... Monoth... Thomas. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Um... Okay, Thomas, let me do... Thomas, get a hang. Tell him, yeah, I'm talking to his mom, too. Dao Te Ching. <coughs> the Dao never does anything. Yet, through it... All things are done. It, if powerful men and women could center themselves in it, the whole world would be transformed by itself in its natural rhythms. People, with, people would be content with their simple everyday lives in harmony and free of desire. When there is no desire, all things are at peace. All right, that's it. That's number 37. So 38 is a long one. It goes from this page to this page. So I'll skip to that. That's kind of long, too. Where are these? Okay, 40. 40 is really short, guys. Return is the movement of the Tao. Yielding is the way of the Tao. All things are born of being. Being is born of non-being. Okay, that's it. Uh, 41 is kind of long. Brandon okay. Prey is said to do a magic trick. See this Kleenex? I'm going to put it in my left hand. It's gone. All right. Um, I think we're on number 42. Yeah, okay. The Tao gives birth to one, one gives birth to two, and two gives birth to three. Three gives birth to all things. All things have their backs to the female and stand facing the male. When male and female combine, all things achieve harmony. Ordinary men hate solitude, but the master makes use of it. Embracing his aloneness, realizing he is the one with the whole universe. All right, that was number 42. Here we go. Ask Andy what oh, you want. Oh, wait, no, 42. What? Andy, Andy was saying, I forgot what he was saying. Uh, Andy said, slowly, form takes over content. <laughs> okay. Number 43. The gentlest thing in the world overcomes the hardest thing in the world. In the world. That which has no substance enters where there is no space. This shows the value of non action. Teaching without words, performing without actions, you know, that is the master's way. Number 44. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you guys. Here you go. 
Um, this is number 43 right here. If you want to read it, go ahead. I think it's backwards, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to leave it here. Yeah, Sadie just sent this from 6th grade, too. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta tell everyone what I'm doing, so I have to pin something. Give me a minute. Do the one you memorized? I don't remember <laughs> that one. Which one I memorized? Probably the one with, like, about pregnancy or something. Thomas says text him when you want to hear him. Hopefully next weekend. Tao Ching? Yes. Okay, let me just pin that real quick. Hold on. Let me just send this. Okay, for a new viewer. <coughs> Did you tell Thomas his name? Yeah. You did? For new, people can hear you. For new viewers, welcome to my Tao Te Ching reading. Um, this is the Tao Te Ching pocket edition. Um, Oh, look at that. My breathing is a little too heavy. Okay. God damn it. Give me a minute, guys. Hold on. Okay. Oh, man, now it's crooked. God, I should have never pinned a message. Cut it in half, Brando. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay. Oh man, now I don't have this much room to. And now when I open my hand, here's the Kleenex. It's just like magic. Where were we at? Okay, here it is. <sighs> Fame or integrity? Which is more important? Money or happiness? Which is more valuable? Success? Failure. Which is more destructive? If you look to others for fulfillment, well, you will never truly be fulfilled. If your happiness depends on money, <laughs> you will never be happy with yourself. Be content with what you have. Uh, you will never be. No. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize that there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. That was number 44. Here you go. Ah, <sighs> jeez. This is taking a lot out of me today. Ooh. Um, okay. Wow, about 300 people just left, and I can see why. Moving on. Why don't we, that should be the last one. True perfection seems imperfect, yet it is perfectly itself. True fullness seems empty, yet it's fully present. True straightness seems crooked, true wisdom seems foolish. And you know what? True art seems artless, mom. <laughs> The master allows things to happen. She shapes events as they come. She steps out of the way and lets the Tao speak for suspicion and lets the Tao speak for itself. Let me just read one more passage from another one of my favorite Bible books. Here's my Bible. Okay. Okay. This page is on who is Tingle. Uh, let me read a little uh, transcript. A ton of detail was put into this character, from the shape of his hair to the items he carries, and even his eyesight. One can sense an unparalleled love for Tingle. Okay, here's more Bible part. This is the Old Testament. Let me do this. Okay, hundreds of years passed, and Ganondorf, who should have been sealed at the bottom of the ocean along with Hyrule, was resurrected once again. 
He gave an order to his minions to attack the wind and earth temples, killing the two sages, sages whose prayers gave the Master Sword the ability to destroy evil. Upon emerging from the sea, he turned the Forsaken Fortress into his base of operations and began his search for Princess Zelda, who, oh, a descendant of the royal family who pres possessed the Triforce of Wisdom. Now that was Ganondorf's plot. What about Roman? Let me get it. Okay, wait, no, this is the wrong timeline. Wrong timeline. Okay, this is the right timeline, but I don't think this is what I want. Oh, here we go. Um, see, it's Crimea, something like that, and that's Romani. Um, Termina, a strange paralleled world where many of the inhabitants look identical to the people of Hyrule. Um, Crimea, Crimea, and Romani. Uh, sisters who resemble Hyrule's Malin, Malan. Um, yeah, um, thank you for 